This local sports report is presented by the Inn of Waterloo, a proud supporter of local sports. The Inn is open and is now offering gym and pool memberships to the KW community. Book a room, hit the gym, and go for a swim at the Inn, located at 475 King Street North in Waterloo. Call 519-804-1130 or visit theinnofwaterloo.com. We are so proud to be here today to announce Ashley Nakula's Division I track scholarship to Dixie State University. A proud moment with her parents after signing on the dotted line. Ashlyn Gilhula is going Division I, committing to the track and field team at Dixie State University. Dixie State is one of like the biggest growing schools right now in Utah, um, so that definitely helps. There's definitely more programs that I can switch into, um, but definitely probably the tipping point of my decision was the um, warm weather all year round, the palm trees. Um, we Googled a picture right away after we got off the call and we're like, oh yeah, there's palm trees. Okay, this is this is a good thing kind of thing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm overall so excited to get there, meet the girls on the team. Um, Meet Coach Atkins. One of Gilhula's long-term goals is to one day compete in the Olympics, and she'll be working towards that goal with a seven-time NAIA national champion. Derek Atkins is a former Olympian, and he is the head track coach at Dixie State. Just had a very friendly, um, welcoming kind of vibe to him, which I loved. Um, we instantly connected. Um, yeah, and he, I think, definitely one of the things, the things that helped me um, pick was he is a former Olympian, um, so training underneath him and his guidance is, like, unbelievable that I can do that, honestly. You can hear the emotion and excitement in Gilhula's voice talking about the next chapter in her journey. I've always, like, dreamed of going to a D1 school. Um, didn't think it would happen after my injuries. In a span of four short years, the Gads Hill native had surgery on both of her knees. That was the lowest of low I probably could have went. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, but now that I signed, um, it's unreal. I can't even like put into words, but it's unreal. <laughs> Yeah. It took months of hard work, a positive attitude, and a solid support network for Gilhula to return to the track. And when she did, after her first surgery, she had a race to remember. So we were at Central for the school track and field meet, and I ran like my best time ever. I think in the 200 <laughs> and I just remember like my mom I just saw her I was just running by she's like in tears but um yeah so that was a special moment when I finally crossed the finish line just coming back from injury um there's no words to explain it sorry <laughs> it's been a wild couple of years I will have to say definitely hard um mentally emotionally physically but um, I couldn't be more proud of myself just for the accomplishments and I am moving to Utah in I think four months in April, but yeah, so <laughs> I'm super excited. She is an inspiring young woman, never giving up on her dream, staying focused through the adversity, attaining her D1 goal. Gilhula, thankful to the teachers and coaches at Stratford District Secondary School for their support. The best part about being a Golden Bear is just the community. Um, the teachers always have your back no matter what. Um, they're just amazing. I'm so grateful for all of them for pushing me to do my best work. It's so incredible because she's such a multi-talented athlete. I remember, um, so I had her in grade nine phys ed, and I remember like she comes every, she came every day with so much energy and enthusiasm. It was incredible to have someone like that in your class. And then on top of that, 
so much positivity and encouragement for other people in the class, which was great. I think the sky's the limit, and I hope someday she's uh, given us a shout out from, from the Olympic Games. That would be fabulous. One of her biggest successes in high school came in her grade nine midget season. Gil Hula set a WASA record in the 100 meters, posting a time of 12.63. It was one of those best times that I ran all year kind of thing. Um, and right then I kind of knew, oh, like, I love doing this. I could see myself going further. Um, so I think I just kind of stuck with that feeling and just ran with it, literally ran with it. <laughs> Another key person in Gilhula's development over the years is Baird Robinson. He is a coach with Sundown Athletics and has been working with Gilhula since the beginning of grade 10. I've transformed as a new runner. Um, my technique is so much better. I'm so much more confident running. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, and I honestly owe it all to him. It's been a theme of uh, much of this day is the fact that she's had to persevere and had to overcome in a situation where a lot of people, quite frankly, would have quit. Um, I think what has helped, obviously, is a couple of things. Obviously, a natural talent, which has been referred to before, but also um, her competitive drive. She's impressive. She's an impressive person. She's uh, both as a person, but as an athlete. Um, she has a way about her. She, she can be easygoing and fun loving and kids can laugh and have a good time. But at the same time, she knows when to flip that switch and be focused and grounded and competitive and looking to be better and want, and want more out of herself and not be satisfied. I mean, she's pleased, but not necessarily satisfied. And that's an important kind of quality because she doesn't want to settle. She wants to really see where she can ultimately get to. And you need to have that growth mindset, I guess, that growth mentality. Well-rounded, naturally gifted with an incredibly bright future. That's how the coaches describe Ashlyn Gilhula. She gave these shout outs to end our interview. Definitely my family. Um, my mom and dad are here today. Um, could not be more grateful for them. My siblings, they're kind of all over the place right now. <laughs> um, but since I've been the youngest, they've always looked out for me. Um, yeah, my siblings, they're just amazing. They're everything to me. My family's everything. Um, again, Coach Baird Robinson, um, thank you for everything. <laughs> Um, for getting me to where I am today. Um, oh my God, there's so many people I want to thank. Um, Anita Dubay, my physiotherapist. I literally would not be standing here today if it was not for you. Um, just my friends, obviously, like you saw, they're so amazing. Obviously, my school teachers, Ms. Thompson, um, Marin Arms, um, Jill McConkey, thank you all for believing in me, seeing me through the pain, um, the heartbreaks of the losses that we've took together, <laughs> um, kind of just everything. Um, I could not do it without you. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> just kind of thank you to everyone who's been by my side, believed in me, pushed me, um, I would not be here without all of you. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.